Hello everyone, today's recipe is a super simple, clean, gluten-free, flourless peanut butter chocolate chunk cookie. And what makes this recipe even more phenomenal, you guys, is the fact that the base recipe is actually only three ingredients and it gets even better. This baby is low carb. Welcome you guys to my channel. Thank you so very much for being here. And now that you are here, and if you're not just subscribed to my channel, please do me honor doing so by pressing that subscribe button below. Remember to turn on the post notification bell so that you will always know when I upload new content. You guys, I have not baked a cookie in a while and I absolutely love peanut butter. I absolutely love chocolate. Put them all together and you have got yourself a plate full of deliciousness. All the ingredients that you need to put these together are on the screen again. Simplicity of it all is key, you guys. And in a matter of minutes, we are going to have a plate full of peanut butter chocolate chunk cookies. So get all your ingredients together, come back here, and I will show you how to put it all together coming up next. Okay guys, so in this bowl, I'm gonna start with putting in my room temperature egg. Please, please, no shells, no shells. All right. Oh, guys, we got shells. <laughs> and this is exactly the reason why I crack my eggs in a separate bowl. Because I would say probably 60% of the time I don't get shells. And then the other 40%, I get these types of results. But nonetheless, you guys, the shells are gone. Okay, so let's go ahead and give this baby a whisk. Just like this. And the second ingredient is our sweetener. And mix these together. And in this bowl, you guys, we have got the star of this recipe. Or I should say one of the stars of this recipe because again, peanut butter and chocolate. Yeah. So to the peanut butter, we are going to add our sugar and or I should say a sweetener and egg mixture and blend. Now you guys, this is going to start off creamy, but as you continue to mix, it's going to form, it is going to form a dough. I tell you, when I first made this recipe and I realized you did not need to use flour to put them together, I was totally and completely amazed. And since then, it's like there's no reason to go back to flour. Okay, this is getting harder to mix which means that we are forming this dough. And there we have it, you guys. We've got our cookie dough. All right. So again, this serves as the base recipe. We could just scoop this up, put it into our Silpat line um, baking sheet and put them in the oven just like this. But you guys, I'm going to make it my own kind of special today by adding a couple of additional ingredients. And those ingredients being some dark baking chocolate and some peanuts. Okay, so you guys, I need a knife. I'm gonna get my knife and when I come back, we are going to chop up both. Okay guys, I went ahead and turned on the oven to preheat it to 350 degrees. Okay, so let's go ahead and give this a chop. So you guys, leave in the comments below what type of ingredients you like to add to your peanut butter cookies to make them in your own kind of special. There's so many different things that you can do. I know at one point what I did is, after I baked out the cookie, I dipped them in some white chocolate and some dark chocolate. Absolutely delicious, you guys. Okay, that looks good. All right. Okay. 
and into our batter these chopped peanuts go. All right, the next thing that we want to chop is some dark chocolate. You guys, are you getting happy yet? I know I am because I can already imagine how chewy and gooey and peanut buttery and chocolatey these are going to be. Oh, I cannot wait. All right, you guys, that looks like a winner to me. Okay. Man. Put this in our batter as well. and do our best to give this a mix that everything is well incorporated. Oh my gosh, you guys. This batter looks phenomenal. Wow. All right, you guys. This looks really good, okay? And that's her batter. So at this point, I am going to set this aside. I'm gonna clear off all these dishes and I am going to bring forward our baking dish that has been lined with silk hat and then we are going to form these cookies. All right, you guys, here is my baking sheet that has been lined with a silicone mat. You can use parchment paper as well. Important thing is make sure you line it so these cookies do not stick. So here is my batter. You guys, if it wasn't for this raw egg in here, I would be all in this cookie though, but patience is key in this, <laughs> in this case. So I got a little scoop here, it's about a tablespoon and a half, I guess. So I'm just gonna scoop this onto baking sheet, maybe about two inches of so apart. Okay, you guys, so I had enough room for 10 cookies on this sheet without overcrowding them. So at this point, what I'm gonna do is just take each one and just gently roll it to make sure that it's nice and round because what we're gonna do after that is gonna take a fork and we're gonna put those peanut butter cookie marks on them. Okay, everyone, so this is ready. Okay, let's get this fork, fork that I spoke about and let's go ahead and gently press down on this cookie and then go in the opposite direction. So we have a nice little grid. Okay. And you guys, just out of habit, I have a tendency just to dip my fork in a bowl of water because it helps release it from this cookie. Okay, everyone. And here we have it. So these are all set to go into my preheated 350 degree oven for about 10 to 12 minutes. See you soon. All right, you guys, here we have it. Fresh, hot out of the oven. And the only thing left to do is to let these cool down a little bit. So we're gonna exercise some patience in it. And when we come back, we're gonna give these a taste. Now in the meantime, you guys, let me just show you what I did with the remaining batter. So I just went ahead and formed these into balls. These are gonna go into the freezer. And then when I'm ready for some fresh baked peanut butter chocolate chocolate cookies, these will be ready. Just a matter of taking them out of the freezer, letting them sit for about 15 minutes or half hour, and then smashing them down with the fork and then baking them. So you guys, give me a few minutes to let these cool down and I will come back and we will give these deliciousness a taste together. Okay, everyone, these have cooled down and they are now ready to enjoy. Lord, I thank you. So good, you guys. The nuts and the chocolate take this base recipe just to the new, all new level, you guys. Absolutely delicious. You will never go back to store-bought once you try these. Phenomenal, you guys. 
clean, delicious, easy, low carb, everything that you want when you are following a low carb diet. And for those who are not following low carb diet, but want to make healthier choices in their diet, give these a try you guys. And when you do, let everyone know how much you enjoy them. And also remember to give this video a like and a share. And please do subscribe to my channel by pressing that subscribe button below. And you guys remember, it is a great day. And you continue to make it your own kind of special. And not only with these chocolate chunk peanut butter cookies and almond milk, but it's lunchtime here, you guys. And if you want some ideas as far as a quick lunch is concerned, why not give my low carb tortilla shell air fryer pizza a try, you guys. Absolutely delicious, easy, quick. And again, it's low carb. You take your uh, tortilla shell, you fry it in the pan, you then top it with some cheese, olive oil, pepperoni, and some peppers, and then you pop it into the air fryer for four minutes, and you guys, before you know it, you have got yourself, again, a quick, easy, low carb, delicious lunch or dinner. And you guys, that's about it for today. Thank you so much for being here, and remember to keep growing, keep thriving, keep pushing those boundaries. And I'll see y'all real soon on my next Fit That 50 and